Hey y'all, hey, my name is Joyce and I'm from a small Etsy shop called Elite Expressions. My best friend and I um, have had that business for about six years and we make decorative glassware, also known as pimp glasses. Um, but I have recently journeyed into the world of resin and have been doing it now for about a year, year and a half. And I'm just now getting up my nerve to actually start showing what I do. So this is uh, the most recent set of coasters that I made. And it's actually a gift for uh, one of my coworkers. Uh, she got me a beautiful Christmas gift. And, you know, I wanted to do something nice for her because she has a beautiful um, wooden table in her dining room. And I said, you know what? Um, I was there. I was drinking my cup of liquid libations um, for Christmas. And I said, you know what? She needs coasters because I was using napkins as coasters. So I'm um, just going by her style and decor. And she says she likes silver and sparkly things. I wanted to go with something that wasn't too over the top glittery because that is what I do in blingy. And I came up with this. So I came up with this coaster set. And some people call it um, steampunk, but they, there are a lot of like cogs and wheels and everything inside of it. And it actually turned out really good. It's crystal clear, which I love. My resin did me right this time. And I just think it is so cute. It's understated yet. It has a cute little style to it. Um, she'll be the only one in this area that has one. Um, you know, I really like it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And this is the last one. So this set actually came with five coasters and five coaster molds and a holder mold. All right. I really like how the holder turned out as well. I think it's really cute. And it holds all of them great. So... The, the holder seems to only hold four comfortably, but I did do five coasters, but the other ones didn't turn out so fortunately. What well, my original idea was, was to make the coasters and put mirrors in them. So I did these two, did them in the same style as, as the other one. However, I didn't lay out a design. So if you see like those humps and bubbles and things like that, I lifted the mirrors and put them back down and lifted them again. And so that's what caused that. So next time I do something like this, I will definitely try to lay out a design beforehand. And I may just use a bigger coaster so that I can put more mirrors because I really love these. These are like really cute. Um, you know, the circle, eh, whatever. But so I will do another set with that. I'm not going to give up on that because um, that's what I had had in my dream. I didn't have a steampunk in my dream. So this is what the molds look like. I purchased them from Amazon. And they're actually, you know, as far as molds go, pretty sturdy. Now this little joker right here. This is the holder mold. I have to clean it. I usually clean them before I use them. I'm not good at cleaning afterwards. Um, it was kind of difficult to demold the holder from here. Uh, what I had to do, number one, I was too anxious and it was still flexible. Uh, it wasn't cured all the way. So what I had to do was kind of pull it apart and spray my 91%. Uh, alcohol in it to kind of loosen it up and let it sit for a minute. Once I did that, I was able to just lay it flat and just kind of jimmy it up straight. So it worked out pretty good, but it gave me a finger workout. And actually, if you look real good, I only painted one fingernail. It's some little uh pink somewhere on here. I think I might have gotten it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another coaster to make it a complete set. Mm, you notice how bad your nails are when you're on camera, but whatever. 
So I'm going to make another coaster to complete that set. And um, so hopefully she likes it. I really like it. I would actually use it um, because they fit so great in here. And I'm really glad that there are no sharp edges. I pour it better than I thought. I'm not going to add any of the bumpers to it because um, it shouldn't really scratch her table. And if you add anything because they are see-through, it may take away from the design. So I'm not going to add anything to it. I was going back and forth with painting the outer edge with a silver paint pen, but I just really like it, you know, and when you pick it up from the side, it just all looks cohesive. So I don't think that I'm going to paint it because it's cute. I love it. This is, <sighs> let's name it. This is Steampunk Coaster number one. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And anything that you see here is available or will be available in our Etsy shop. And I'm going to do like every other crafter says, the link will be in the description box. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye.